My name is Nicole Moore with So Much More. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to make a frame wallet using a modified version of the Diva Frame Wallet pattern by So Many Creations. While you're watching, if you see something that you like, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Get your materials list and detailed tips and tricks on my website. Now let's get started. I've used the measurements in the pattern to pre-cut and prep my fabric with Decor Bond fusible interfacing. I've also added some ShapeFlex SF101 to the pieces that do not call for any interfacing. I think this adds a nicer hand to the overall project. First, we will prepare the card pockets. Press each piece wrong side together. Top stitch along the folded edge. Next, we'll prepare our open pocket. We'll add some additional interfacing to one side of the pocket. And fold this wrong sides together. You'll notice that the folded fabric will not match at the raw edge, but that's okay. It'll make sense in a little bit. And once you have this piece folded, go ahead and top stitch the folded edge. Now we get to add our card pockets. Using the measurements listed on your pattern, you will align each card pocket into place. We'll clip this on the side and stitch along the bottom edge. And you repeat this step for all three card pockets. Once you've attached each card pocket, you'll stitch along each side and the bottom to secure into place. Now depending on your frame size, you'll follow the instructions in the pattern to stitch your card separations. I'm using a 7.5 inch frame for this particular wallet, so my separation stitches are only a single line of stitches down the center. This is the point that I slightly deviate from the pattern. I like to consider this an enhancement. The pattern calls for a zipper pocket, but it is not lined. Be sure to head over to my website for the measurements of my lining fabric. Use the pattern instructions to draw your rectangle. Fold the zipper pocket exterior fabric wrong sides together and give it a good press. Next, position the lining right side against the right side of the zipper pocket exterior. Place that lining just below the fold and pin that in place. Sew along the rectangle that is traced on the wrong side of the lining. Using the diagram on your pattern, draw and then cut the center line and also the V shapes at each end. Pull the lining fabric to the back side of the zipper pocket. Use your iron to press the opening. I like to add custom woven labels to my projects. It really gives an extra special touch. To learn more about these custom labels, head over to my website. I don't give placement measurements on where to put these labels because not all labels are created the same. Once you have your label in the right position, sew it in place. Choosing the perfect zipper is one of my favorite things to do. There are so many colors available. Head over to my website to see where I love to buy all my zippers.
Once you find the perfect zipper, we need to install it. Using double-sided tape is the, one of the easiest ways to install a zipper. Align your zipper in the position that you like best and sew it in place. Trim off the excess tape. We need to close up our lining. Fold the lining to meet the opposite raw edge. Clip in place and sew. You need to ensure that you don't stitch the exterior to the lining. We are just about done with the zipper pocket. All we have left to do is to fold each short end together and then top stitch along the folded edge. Now we will start assembling all the pieces. Place your card slot piece along one of the ends of the main interior panels and place the zipper pocket along the opposite edge. Clip this into place and then base stitch all the way around the perimeter of the panel. Place the main exterior panel right side down and clip on top of the interior assembly. Stitch along both long sides of the panel and then turn the panel right side out and press. I've already followed the pattern and clipped a notch from one of the sides. It's a good idea to add some fray check to this area. Now we'll add the metal frame. Apply glue to either the raw edge or along the inside of the frame channel. Next, take your frame, the side with the hole opening, and secure it in place. This next step is very helpful if you have a tiny magnetized Phillips head screwdriver. I have this tool linked in my website. Add all of the screws and tighten them in place. Repeat these steps for the second frame. And there you have it. I just loved making this wallet. I especially, I especially loved adding the lined pocket with my custom label. What do you think? Are you ready to make your own? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you sign up for notifications, you'll be the first to know about my next video. And if you want more DIY, go to the link in the description and sign up for my weekly newsletter. Each week, I send inspiration directly to your inbox. For more tutorials, head over to my website, where there is always so much more in store.